guys, Batman Arkham 13 here, and this is a haul from Respawn Lego, and uh, this is actually the second haul I got from Respawn Lego. He sent me a couple things, and if you guys don't remember my last haul, uh, the reason why he's sending me this package is because my last haul, if you guys don't remember, well, not my last haul, but one of my last hauls, I got this Boba Fett helmet, and uh, head giant hole in the helmet, right, right there. Um, not a joke, still have it, still haven't done anything with this, and also it's a little misprinted on some, some different ends. Uh, if it'll want to focus, there we go. Um, some that's misprinted a lot, like compared to like look at that side and look at that side, huge misprint. Um, then I'm pretty sure this was a keychain because this is pretty much centered to the top of the helmet, so I think it was a keychain that this guy like took the keychain out of and then tried to sell the helmet as an actual helmet. Uh, I went back and I wanted to go check at the. Um, uh, the description of the thing, nothing said giant hole at the helmet, nothing talked about it being a keychain, never said anything about it. I did not email the guy because I didn't want him, because um, I, I didn't see that he had another helmet in stock, uh, or he had another helmet at all. Don't know, didn't want to like have this huge fight about it, and because uh, I mean I would, I was, in the, I was fully in the right, and he was totally in the wrong, but anyways, I'm not gonna worry about it because he told me he sent me a Boba Fett helmet uh, in this haul. And also, Ripwreck777, if you guys wanna go check out his Instagram account, he actually made a meme about this. Um, that was super hilarious. Thank you for making that uh, about the, the hole in the Boba Fett helmet. Uh, it was really cool, so that was awesome. That was well worth the $2 right there that um, that had. So, um, yeah, huge shout out to Respawn Lego. I'll be leaving a link down in the description to his channel. And uh, yeah, so let's just get this open real quick. And then we can actually zoom out so we don't have a super close up shot on my hands. Um, anyway, so thank you for seeing this for a bit. Thank you for sending me this Respawn Lego. It really means a lot that I have fans like you who just, who, who see one of my videos and see that I got ripped off and, and just, just automatically their response is, Hey, I'll, I'll send you a helmet or something and, or, and replace it because I have a spare one. That just means so much to me. That means the world to me. He just sent me a that helmet. He sent me some other stuff as well. So there's the stuff he sent me. And oh my gosh, this is awesome. Uh, so thank you so much, Respawn Lego. You sent me the Boba Fett helmets. Um, I will get this out. He sent me in a plastic bag too, uh, too so really great packaging uh, there. You didn't really need to send plastic bags, but that was awesome. So thank you for doing that. Uh, if you see any like pieces in the background, sorry if you do, because that was from a Lego set that I'm building. I uh, didn't have too much time because I have to go work in like not even half an hour. So yay. Um, so anyway, so both that helmet. This one uh, is a is a great example of a helmet that is a good helmet. Um, that right there is what I call a good helmet. Because freaking people don't know. Okay, so here's the difference. This is the one Respawn Lego sent me right here. And this is the one some other dude decided to send me with the giant hole. So here is the difference. Um, as you guys can see, Respawn Lego is one that he sent me uh, right here. Uh, I can see that the print is a bit upwards to the head, but that's okay because I'm going to sculpt over it anyway. So it really doesn't make too much difference to me. Um... But also, yeah, so anyways, uh, this one has a giant hole at the helmet, this one doesn't. This is the one Respawn Lego sent me right here, right here. Um, this one is the one I got from Bricklink, and that one haul. Um, no misprints. No misprints, they're all pretty, pretty good. They're pretty good print. Now, obviously, each different helmet has, like, a different print on it, but that's a different thing. Um, anyways, uh, he also sent me these Super Battle Droids, which... I, uh, I don't know, no, I do know, he do, I, wait, hold up, I'm thinking of I sent him the picture or not, yeah, I think I did, and I will see if I can get the, yeah, here it is, okay, sorry, sorry about that, I had to get this battle droid, um, this was a super battle droid that I was working on, um, right here, and this is a magnetized super battle droid that has magnetized, uh, joints so you can move the arms like so and you can move the arms in the elbow joints right there uh right there as you guys can see if this will want to focus um right there so you can move the arms like that on both sides and then the legs can move separately and they're all using some magnets so that's really awesome 
Uh, I really like how I do that. And also, you can move it from the actual arm pivot um, that LEGO has sent it. So, I'll give you guys a little comparison. Um, if I take one of these out, the one that respawned, one of the droids that respawned LEGO sent me, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, obviously, these are just standard ones. You can't move the legs separately, and it's just like two movements. It's only, it's. You, only, you can only move it in one different place, and also you can move it at the hips as well. So you have the legs that move separately with magnets. And then also if you want, you can also move the hip uh, right here the, the where the clip is. So like right here where Lego is one moves, you can also do that on mine as well. Um, so mine has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movements. So far I'm planning on having nine total um, jointable things uh, so you're gonna have knee joints as well uh, I don't have any more magnets so I can't do that currently but I'm still working on that it's a work in progress prototype um, so now I have three more that I can do the same exact thing too which is a very is a very big process and I might send you one respawn Lego if I ever have the chance to get enough done um, I'll make sure to send you one and also you sent me a jetpack so that was awesome so thank you so much for all of this awesome stuff, Respawn Lego. That means so much to me um, that you sent me this, that you saw my my getting ripped off of this, this stupid helmet, which I'm going to keep, um, and I'm just going to put it, you know, I'm not going I'm going to keep it in my collection. I'm not going to use it for any custom because it just shows how how stupid people can be um, to rip me off, and it's it's really stupid. Um, so, anyways. Uh, thank you so much for Respawn Lego for sending me all of this awesome stuff, all these super battle droids right here. It means so much to me. Um, again, I actually did need more of these super battle droids because I only have one and currently at the moment. Um, and these are pretty expensive, not really expensive on Bricklink, but I just didn't want to spend money on getting more super battle droids. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the thumbnail right now. So thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. Also, you sent me a rangefinder, so that was pretty cool. I do make my own custom rangefinders. I don't use Legos, but I will definitely maybe have a use for that. Um, maybe I might have a use for that rangefinder or something. Um, I'm, bo I'm bound to have use for everything that I get from any any Bricklink seller or anything. Um, I always have a use for something. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for sending me this respawn Lego. It means so much to me um, that you sent me all of this awesome some stuff the Boba Fett helmet was the only thing that you said you were going to send to me and then you sent me three other super battle droids a jetpack and a rangefinder so that's really awesome I'm sorry I'm stretching out this haul so much because it really doesn't need to be stretched out this much um, but yeah so also if you guys can see the super battle droid kind of comparison uh, here you guys can sort of see that I'm not sure if you guys can but yeah so also if you guys haven't seen my last haul video, please go check that out. This is where I got two Lego sets um, from Target and all that kind of awesome, cool stuff. So go check that out if you guys like hauls like this one. Go check out the last one. And also, I'm going to give you guys a little preview of a figure I've been working on, which is a, uh, a Superman figure. So there's just a little preview, and that's, that's all you get. Um, pause the video if you guys want to, but that's all you get of Superman and my Justice League figures coming up on the November 17th. Sorry, I couldn't words. Uh, November 17th, I'll be posting my Justice League showcase. I'm still working on them currently, but I'll be posting my showcase of Justice League figures on November 17th, which is when it comes out, which actually comes out 16th, but technically it was dated to be 17th. So anyway, I'm going to do 17th instead of 16th. Um, Anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, Respawn Lego, thank you for sending me this. Go check out his channel down in the description down below. Sorry this video has been going on for a while and I'm talking very fast. But, thank you guys so much for sending me this. And it really just means so much to me that I have fans like you who sent me this stuff. And all that kind of stuff. I'm stretching this out a long time. I probably had to get ready for work and go to work. But, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, visit, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.